about exercise i came to know um, through facebook actually there was a uh, group at the time gate and is preparation so to that group i came to know about exercise and and i also from that time i saw that uh, it was the first and the best uh, online platform for gate preparation so since then i have trusted like your quality and self confident then uh, no one can stop you uh, if you are giving two or three attempts then you will always make it so uh, you should also focus more on the accuracy part uh, specific to gate exam actually i found that i was more accurate regarding my numerical skills because in this paper you could see that uh, the answers were in a tighter regarding the mindset actually i would say uh, the support from family is important as well as uh, if you have a spiritual background then uh, then also it helps i never uh, uh, thought about any uh, negative consequences or i did not have any pessimistic attitude attitude so you should always be optimistic and positive then you can if you are confident then then you can uh, achieve uh, then you can achieve in any of the exams First of all, congratulations, Jishnu, for All India Rank Two in Gate 2023 Mechanical. Thanks a lot, sir. Let us uh, first start with your background. From where do you belong? How did you get to know about Gate? Yes, sir. Uh, I am Jishnu. I uh, basically come from Guwahati, and I did my B Tech in uh, from IIT Bhubaneswar and graduated in the year 2021. And I came to know about Gate in my uh, second year uh, from my seniors and some of my cousins. Uh, they told uh, the, my seniors. Usually, my, uh, most of my seniors got <coughs> placed uh, in campus only. Uh, but in, uh, since last two years, uh, since twenty, uh, since the twenty twenty and uh, the year of twenty twenty and twenty twenty one, due to COVID, uh, our placements were hampered, and so we uh, began to uh, explore other opportunities like, like gate. And so most of us focused towards other exams. For the twenty twenty one attempt, I took two years of preparation to make my notes and uh, revise them, and also give the test series in the last year of preparation. Yeah, after I had my short notes ready, at this time uh, it didn't take much time. So, so uh, how was your attempt in Gate 2021? How much did you score, and what happened after that? My uh, so score, uh, my rank in Gate 2021 was 191, and uh, yeah, but, but because of uh, less vacancies, I uh, didn't get in the uh, well-known PSUs. So that is why I attempted once more this time. In 2021, as Jishnu told, due to COVID and due to less vacancies, he was not able to enter into the desired PSUs that he wanted. So from the last two years, what were you doing in terms of preparation? Were you actively preparing or were you employed? Uh, I got employed in the year 2021 itself. So after the training phase, I couldn't prepare in that year because of my training and uh, other uh, matters. So I only uh, started the preparation in the year 2022. Other than revision. Yes. What were you doing in terms of solving questions? Because we know that it's very important to have numerical grasp over concepts yes, for sir. an exam like GATE. Yes, sir. Uh, regarding numerical solving, I actually, this time I focused uh, mainly on the test series and the previous year questions. Even the previous year questions also, I couldn't complete uh, them. I only solved uh, I only solved and revised the marked questions, the star mark questions. That is how I manage my time. So in your first attempt, you had star marked some good previous year yes, questions. Yes, sir. I solved them again. And that helped me clarify my concepts and revise them. Yes, yes, yes. Understood. And uh, regarding revision, since you were already in a job, full-time job, so what was the schedule of revision? Yeah, the, the schedule of revision, <clears throat> actually, uh, that was uh, hand in hand with the test series, uh, with the subject-wise and topic-wise test series. <clears throat> Whatever topic or subject I uh, gave this, that uh, I, I studied the short notes along with it so that I could uh, modify my short notes accordingly and then I could uh, revise them. Revise my whatever I made, what, whatever mistakes I made, I would not repeat them again. That is how I uh, prepared this thing. Understood. Jishnu, uh, how did you get to know about Exergic? About Exergic, I came to know um, through Facebook. Actually, there was a uh, group at the time, Gate and IES preparation. So uh, through that group, I came to know about Exergic. And, and I also, from that time, I saw that uh, it was the uh, it was the first and the best uh, online uh, platform for gate preparation uh, from that time i came to know <coughs> and so, okay. uh, so so since then i have uh, trusted exergic only and so <coughs> this time you have exergic test series as well as exergic pro so how was the experience of it yeah <coughs> the test series of exergic is very helpful uh, it helps uh, focus on uh, a lot of concepts uh, with the minimum number of questions you can understand a lot of uh, concepts a lot of concepts it focuses mostly on quality and not just on quantity so that helped me a lot and uh, so <clears throat> this time uh, despite getting a, a, lo a short amount of time uh, of around two months i could prepare uh, so well and uh, yeah that is how test series helped and uh, when i came to <clears throat> this time after giving my test series i realized that i was 
not uh, i was good in accuracy this time but i've uh, somehow i <coughs> somehow i could not revise a lot of concepts so i uh, this at the end i took the exergic pro 50 course so that helped me cover up the concepts that i lacked yeah so that was uh, my experience with the exergic courses understood yes uh, just now since you were writing tests test analysis obviously is important so how did you manage it what was the process of analysis despite having a full time job <coughs> yeah test series analysis was very important actually uh, the analysis should be done uh, just after the test it should not uh, take a, we should not take a lot of gap because otherwise we would not be able to analyze it properly so uh, for, for regarding the analysis i would i did it uh, just within one or two days after giving the test i i checked my mistakes first and usually i first checked what the whatever the silly mistakes i made <coughs> this time i found that i made a less number of silly mistakes but the mistakes that i made were mostly conceptual so that is why i thought that i uh, i needed to cover up the concepts again and uh, revise them revise or <clears throat> or modify my short notes and apart from them uh, the questions that i solved correctly even those questions i also check through because uh, those questions also uh, the solution uh, the way uh, we, uh, the solution is given might be different or maybe uh, shorter than what uh, the way we solved mm. so that is why i uh, just uh, glance through them so that is how i analyze my tests i would i would <clears throat> I, the analysis would not be covered in one go i would take a two or three looks at it so that is how i would do the analysis so two to three times you uh, went through the analysis maybe to ensure that nothing get missed even the questions which you solved correctly you went through the solutions to see if there is a new learning new approach with which it has been yes, sir. solved in the uh, process what was the importance of weekend the reason i am asking this is uh, because many students who are in college many students who are in job on the weekdays the schedule is hectic so what is the planning day plan for weekend to maximize the preparation yeah actually uh, at the time i was working in a plant so i had to work for 6 days 6 days and uh, my duty was also for around 11 to 12 hours so managing time was very challenging for me so i would make the best use of time uh, whenever the others were not present i would uh, i would use my uh, earphone and uh, i would also uh, go to the videos and also the and also check the uh test uh, even in my office time and also uh, the uh, regarding the weekends i would night of saturdays is uh, usually best for giving tests uh, because we can get the time for analyzing it the next day so i would always uh, try to give my tests uh, in uh, in the weekends so that i could analyze them analyze them completely uh, that the, there won't mm. be any backlogs later so that way i use my weekend i the sundays actually i tried to give two tests but uh, actually i couldn't uh, because that was um, for three, giving 3 hours tests two 3 hours tests was not possible actually uh, and analyzing them simultaneously so yeah sundays i would try to give one test at least uh, because uh, in the two months you have to give you have to complete all the tests so you have to plan accordingly yeah that is why you have to uh, do the maximum utilization of your weekends so as such there was no plan but i uh, i tried to give the test in one go uh, 3 hours uh, in a sitting straight mm. uh, that 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 should be your plan you should somehow uh, get 3 hours free uh, continuous 3 hours so all the students who are in college or job uh, try to take out small pockets of time during your day where you can manage your work your studies as well as get preparation parallelly 10 15 every every small bit counts right because every single single minute add up becomes yeah. an hour so in the weekdays try to find out the small pockets of time if you are having a hectic schedule and for the weekends practice solving question analysis that yeah. you keep right that's how you can continue the preparation and as jishnu said that try to uh, sit for 3 hours when you are writing full length test even if you are busy only appear when you are available but sit for 3 hours develop that habit uh, jishnu in this uh, journey obviously there would have been some uh, tough moments Uh, where uh, you know you have to keep the right mindset and it happens with almost uh, everyone right there are during the journey there are some tough moments related yeah. to college related to work so how you used to keep the right mindset what can others learn from uh, those moments of yours yeah mm -hmm. regarding the <coughs> tough moments this time actually uh, this time uh, my cat exam did not go very well so uh, after that time i was on a lower side uh, that was a tough moment for me because i thought maybe this exam also may not go very well and uh, somehow i needed to do well in one of the exams so uh, yeah that was uh, a down moment for that uh, for me at the time but this time actually the support from my family was uh, 
was much stronger than the last attempt so actually uh, last attempt some of them were not allowing me uh, some were, some of them are not uh, supporting me to give uh, to go uh, to give gate and do well in it so this time the support was stronger and so i think uh, the confidence i uh, confidence inside me increased and also regarding uh, another tough moment for me uh, this time actually uh, in the month of january uh, we were facing inspections in our job uh, so uh, after the inspections <coughs> i was uh, actually uh, scolded for some of the some of the means uh, some of the mistakes i made so that is why uh, after that i felt a bit low because i <coughs> i was not performing well in my job and as well as in my preparation uh, regarding my, the mindset actually i would say uh, the support from family is important as well as uh, if you have a spiritual background then uh, then also it helps actually i have a spiritual background so i never uh, uh, thought about any uh, negative consequences or i did not have any pessimistic attitude uh, attitude so uh, yeah that is the thing you should always be optimistic and uh, positive yeah. then you get if you are confident then then you can uh, achieve uh, then you can achieve in any of the exams yeah that is the thing yes jishnu is very correct two very strong points he has said support from family is important definitely in anything whatever we are doing in life right it is uh, with the family right and for the family in a way so their support is extremely important it definitely helps and having the positive mindset is very much important no may, no, no matter whatever you are doing yes. in your life especially in exams yeah. right you, there may be some tough moments if you are in many students who are in college they think that preparing with college is very difficult but they don't know how difficult it is to prepare yeah, with yeah. a job because when you are in a job there can be so many things going on in the job yeah. right you can't have a plan transfers boss yeah, you can't have a perfect plan in ah, while, while you are in a job like in college correct 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 things will keep happening like jishnu said inspection was happening sometimes boss is not that uh, great right to work yeah. with so by the time you come home he has said something it has spoiled your mood and now you have to study so it's very yeah. physically also you may maybe tiring if you are working yeah. in a plant so physically emotionally it's yeah, challenging yeah, right? so those yeah those who are in college uh, please realize that the time that you have is precious that time will not return again so if you are planning for any exam make the most out of that time you have the best chances if you prepare well even if you are not able to crack at that time like jishnu cracked it i would say 191 is a very good rank that he got in 2021 with college but even if uh, you know rank is not good and later on you prepare it won't take you much time because your concepts yeah. you understood those are very much there yeah. in your brain right you need to slightly revise and solve question it will come up so the time of college definitely you should realize in the best way like the more time you give in college the less time you will take in your attempts yeah the later attempts absolutely absolutely this uh, what jishnu said you can see in many other toppers interview as well that's what they also said uh, jishnu what is a single quality there are some good qualities required in a gate aspirant but what is a single such quality that you feel a gate aspirant must have yeah actually uh, there would be a lot of qualities but um, the single most important quality Uh, i realized this time is the ability to multitask you know you should be you should be able to, able to do multitasking because in a job uh, that is that is required uh, you should be able to handle a lot of tasks together uh, and complete with priority yeah, that is the thing and other qualities are also important like you should have self confidence and a positive attitude and also uh, you should also focus more on the accuracy part uh, specific to gate exam Mm. focus on the accuracy because this time actually i found that i was more accurate uh, uh, regarding my numerical skills because the, in this paper you could see that uh, the answers were in a tighter range the range given was very tight mm. so you had to be uh, numerically more accurate this time since you said that uh, uh, multitasking obviously is important and it is true for uh, college students as well as those who are in job and prioritizing yeah, is priority. important so this would be i think an important time management tip yeah. also right that how to manage the time prioritization of work is important because 10 things can come simultaneously even if you are in college yeah. or in job so it's important right to make those who are in college that gate should be their priority there will be many things that will be happening in their life keep everything secondary make gate as priority regarding the time management i would like to say that uh, your plan uh, if you are in a job then your plan should be very flexible because uh, i would prepare i would give this in the morning time also and in the night time also you should be flexible initially with that mm. uh, but just before exam say one week or two weeks before you you have to give it in a in the time that the exam is so that you get uh, tuned to it your brain gets tuned to it so yes. yeah that is the thing yeah and uh, try to uh, if possible try to complete all the uh, exams in the test series uh, i would like to congratulate all the other toppers as well because all are unique uh, 
they all have their own yes. uh, situations uh, like me correct correct everyone has its own journey own set yeah. of challenges and as you said having the right mindset having a positive mindset is going to get through uh, get them through all yeah. such uh, yeah. uh, if you are positive and self confident then uh, no one can stop you uh, if you are giving two or three attempts then you will always make it through correct correct very true it can be success can be delayed but it cannot yeah. be denied if you have worked yeah. hard and if yeah, you are perfectly safe uh, in the last attempt i got the rank of 191 so this time i wasn't expecting a uh, single digit rank so me i was thinking that i might get a two digit rank and that to within 50 but uh, getting uh, this uh, rank of 2 was <clears throat> some very surprising for me uh, with a job so yeah so uh, yeah you can see that if i can achieve something like this then uh, then any aspirants can uh, any working aspirants or any any aspirant even if he is in college so yeah with this i would like to thank all the i would like to uh, give my uh, wishes to all the aspirants where i would like to wish them a best of luck so that uh, even if they even if some of them are repeaters even if they could not achieve it this time they will able to make it through in the later attempts <clears throat> and also i would like to uh, thank uh, exergic for giving me this opportunity to uh, share my journey and and wish my, wish the aspirants yeah that is from my that is the final message from my side